क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री प्रोसेस कॉस्टिंग डेटा कंसर्निंग अ रीसेंट पीरियड्स एक्टिविटी इन द प्राइव डिपार्टमेंट द फर्स्ट प्रोसेसिंग डिपार्टमेंट इन अ कंपनी दैट यूज प्रोसेस कॉस्टिंग दैट इज अपियर बुलो इक्विवेलेंट यूनिट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन इन एंडिंग वर्क इन प्रोसेस विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू मटीरियल इज थ्री हंड्रेड विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू कन्वर्जन इज हंड्रेड कॉस्ट पर इक्विवेलेंट यूनिट With respect to material is thirty one point five six, and with respect to conversion is nine point three two. A total of thirteen hundred units were completed and transferred to the next processing department during the period. Thirteen hundred units are completed units and transfer out unit. Here the requirement in this question is compute the cost of unit transfer to the next department. and the cost of ending work in process inventory so how we can calculate these two things number 1 we know that in this writing working from the formula cost per unit how we can calculate cost per unit is equal to total cost divided by total number of units here we want total cost right total cost of transfer out and total cost of ending inventory so what we will do here total cost we can see the total cost equal to cost per unit multiply by total units total units right now the total cost we can write here the total cost can be compute is equal to cost per unit multiplied by total units cost per unit equal to total cost divided by total unit if we want to find the total cost the total unit will be multiplied by cost per unit so we can calculate the total cost okay now we will want to move towards the solution ending work and process inventory write first ending work and process inventory calculate the cost of ending work and process inventory here the equivalent unit of production is already computed in this question which is mentioned that is 300 with respect to material and 100 with respect to conversion okay we will take ending work in process equivalent unit of production equivalent units of production with respect to material that is 300 and with respect to conversion that is 100 here we have seen the units is multiplied with the cost per unit then we find the total cost so we will multiply here with the cost per unit and the cost per unit is 31.56 and 9.32 right okay so the total cost total cost how we will find the total cost we have already write the formula there total cost equal to equal to number of units and the cost per unit So we will multiply both the values. Again, for conversion, same happen. Hundred with nine point three two, and the total cost of ending work in process is summation of these two values. That is ten thousand four hundred. Right? Now, what we want the another cost that is related with the 
units completed and transfer out units completed and transferred out units completed and transfer out okay units completed how much units how many units are completed here 1300 the 1300 unit transfer to the next department units transfer to the next department units transfer to the next department that is again the mansion it is mentioned in the cushion that is 1300 right okay now again how we will calculate the total cost again the cost per unit multiply by total units okay we will take cost per unit again here cost per unit cost per unit right we have taken cost per unit now the cost of units completed and transfer out is cost of units completed and transfer out is how we will calculate these two values again 1300 multiplied by cost per unit so the value is 41,028 now the second for conversion 1300 multiplied by 9.32 the value is 12,116 so the summation of these two values is the total cost of transfer out unit okay for the total cost of Units completed and transferred out is 53,144. And the cost of work in process ending inventory is 10,400. So this is the solution of question number 3.